Hi, everybody. This is Nick Meyer from Alt Health Works, and I'm here today with Ian Clark, the founder of Activation Products. And he's up in the Pacific Northwest right now, um, working on lots of different uh, different uh, programs and supplements and things like that. So I just wanted to say uh, thanks so much for joining us today, Ian. Um, how's it going? Hey, Nick. Yeah, really great to be back. It's going fantastic up here. We're having a lot of fun, a lot of developments since last time we chatted and We'll have some fun today talking about some stuff. Sounds good. And uh, so the topic today is magnesium and um, uh, probably the, the biggest, uh, the biggest thing that I noticed with magnesium was a study that said that um, if your magnesium levels are optimized, basically you have a greater chance of avoiding like a heart attack or a stroke. Um, aside from that, it's obviously great for, um, for basically uh, replenishing your body when it's in times of stress. Uh, can you talk about the four main types of magnesium and what they're, what each is good for? Yeah, for sure. So yeah, the magnesium studies that you're referring to was like <clears throat> 15 years of study from a medical perspective that found <clears throat> so many different things, pardon me, so many different things happening in the body that require magnesium and any levels off are really uncool. So as a result of that, hundreds of different types of magnesium products came onto the market. And what I learned about that was that the top four, which you're talking about now, are the most sold, for example, would be magnesium citrate. Magnesium citrate is usually a powder form. People put it into a drink and they drink it. And then you have magnesium chloride is a really popular one. And then magnesium, a chelated magnesium, which is, would be known as magnesium biglycinate or just glycinate. And then magnesium L3 and 8 is specifically for the brain. And that's a patented version. It only comes from one company. And so that's a supplemental. The magnesium chloride products are traditionally transdermal. And that's the one that we focused in on was the transdermal. And we have a very specific form of that one. Um, what are the benefits of uh, transdermal? And what, what exactly is transdermal? Um, for the people right. out there who aren't aware. Yeah, so transdermal means it's coming in through your skin. So you literally spray it on the skin. It enters your body wherever you spray it, going into your microcirculation and your lymphatic. And it, and it immediately alleviates those parts of your body that need it the most. And, or if you just need a regular magnesium supplementation, you can spray it anywhere. And so our, our clients would always pick a, a spot that may be a little bit stiff or sore or a problem area and focus on that. But really, you just want to have it throughout your whole system because it will eventually get to where it's supposed to go. The difference in the reason for a transdermal versus an orally a consumed product, which is either in a pill form, a liquid, or a, a powder, is because every time you swallow anything into your digestive tract, you're placing a tax on your system. So your kidneys have to be involved, your, your liver, all these different functions in your organs have to get involved. Whereas when you put it into the skin, there is no interaction with your digestive tract because it's going in through a totally different pathway. And that's why it's so important when you're going to consume an orally consumed magnesium to know that the level of tax on your kidneys is minimalized. And that's why I like the L3 and 8 and the bisglycinate. Citrate is popular because it can be flavored and it's sort of fizzy and it's fun, yeah. <laughs> but that's the most difficult one in your system. Yeah, I've noticed with the citrate, um, I've taken it before and it seems like it, it kind of works. It's kind of fast acting, but then there's like different, uh, it's like I, I pay the price a little bit later on, like I have some digestive issues or things like that. <laughs> right. <laughs> you get a little bit of loose, looseness happening if you <clears throat> use too much of it. It can be a little hot, but uh, <laughs> that's also dumping minerals. Like if you ever have a bowel intolerance, whether it's vitamin C or magnesium or whatever, you're losing minerals when that happens because your, bo your bowels don't want to be hyper dumping like that. It's, uh, it's harder than mucosal layer and it also eliminates the absorption of nutrients that you really need. Interesting. Um, yeah, I've, I, haven't, I haven't tried um, the dermal magnesiums too much, but I did try that your Ease, your, uh, Ease product Mm -hmm. recently. And one thing I noticed is it seemed to kind of make my whole body calm down. 
it seemed like it almost alleviated the bloating in the front part of my body, like immediately. Um, is that something anybody, any of your clients have noticed or any of your customers for uh, activation products? That, that's, those are pretty much the main things right out of the gate is a, is a calmness and a relaxation because magnesium relaxes your muscles, calcium flexes your muscle. So that's the, the tension versus the relaxing. That's why calcium and magnesium are so hand in hand. But when the magnesium goes in, what happens is that when people are a little bit low in magnesium in various different parts of their body, it, it leaves a big effect, even if it's just a small amount. Because there are 330 plus biochemical reactions the body requires magnesium for. And it, depending on your lifestyle too, if you're using your brain a lot, or if you're under a high stress situation for any reason, or if, uh, if you're into a hormonal cycle for a woman, for example, the body's going to use a lot more magnesium and, and the more magnesium you use, the greater chance of being more depleted. So keeping your body fueled up is essential. And your, your autonomic nervous system, which is really running the whole show in the background between sympathetic stress and parasympathetic, which is flight or fight or healing and, and digesting is very dependent upon magnesium. So people can then, get into parasympathetic a lot easier when their magnesium levels are up and the whole transdermal aspect of the ease, which is now the ease is, is quite different than anything in the market out there in the transdermal world. The reason is because we go to the nth degree to get the, the most valuable raw material in the world. It has to come out of Europe. We were not even able to source anything out of South America or North America. It's at a highly sophisticated pharmaceutical grade level where they purify from seawater. It can't be from mines. Like you can get magnesium chloride out of nickel mining, for example. It's a waste product in nickel mining. We want nothing to do with that because your body resonates with the ocean. You know, you think about when you cry a tear, that is one third strength ocean water. It's called isotonic. So when we realize, well, the electrolytic fluid inside your body is exactly the same as one third strength ocean water, the ocean water, those minerals that come from there are the most compatible with you. So these sea mineral extracts is 99.999% pure magnesium chloride hexahydrate. So the reason the hexahydrate is brought into the picture is because there are six water molecules in seawater attached to every molecule of magnesium chloride. So that has a hexagonal structure to it. That means it's going to hold in your tissue better. Whereas if you just have regular magnesium chloride or magnesium sulfate, which is another popular one for soaking in a bath, that will go in your system. It doesn't hold well in the tissue, and then it just leaves right away. Whereas this particular form of it, we've seen people build up a supplement level where they become, instead of being depleted, they become replete. And once you're at that level, it takes around 90 days to get there. And if you're, if you're under stress or you're under use of magnesium more, you should use it twice a day. So I would use it in the morning, waking up 30 sprays, 30 sprays before going to bed, because it gives you a calm energy during the day and it gives you a much deeper sleep during the night. So that's the real key behind the use of this, this type of product. Now that's really interesting what you said about um, staying in the tissues, because it, I can see that being a big benefit. Yes. Uh, how did you and how did you go about researching this particular um, form of magnesium? And then uh, when did you know that this was what you wanted in your product? Well, that happened back in 2000, around mid 2007. And I, I wasn't the researcher. What happened with, with my situation is I knew that there were people in the world who had the top level understandings in various categories. I didn't know who they were, or how to find them. But along the, the journey, once in a while, it wasn't very often, I would stumble along and meet someone who was like, whoa, they got something interesting here. <clears throat> so what, what happened was I didn't even have a clue about the importance of magnesium that day. And I was at this health event in Toronto and an older gentleman who passed away shortly after that because he had some huge liver problems from alcoholism, which I wasn't aware of, but this super kind individual and he said, oh, you got to come and meet this guy. And he said, you know, talk to him. And so this guy that he introduced me to was from New York. And he was at, the, at this Toronto show. 
And uh, so I, he said, oh, I got this product. You know, he didn't even have a label on it. He just handed me the spray bottle. It was about this big. <laughs> And I was, you know how you go to these trade shows and you go with your bag, right? And people give you stuff or you buy stuff. Yeah. And so I said, well, what is it? He goes, well, I don't know. You, you try it and tell me what you think it is. And I said, well, what do I do with it? He goes, do you have any aches or pains? And, I said, and at the time, I didn't really have a lot of aches and pains that I could think of right off the top. So I just said, not really. He goes, well, just, you know, take it and just spray it on your body. And then, then you, here's my number. Here's my card. Because this older gentleman was telling him that I was interested in finding products to help get to market. But we were just starting that. So I was, it was like, okay, I'll, I'll take your sample. And I didn't even really do much more. And then the next morning when I woke up, I had, uh, it was after the show and I was sitting in my computer room and I was just thinking about everything that happened. And then I, I was, when I got in the computer, you know how sometimes when you're, when you're on and you, and it doesn't, you don't use your elbows a lot. Like, so back then my left elbow had a little bit of an ache, not very much, but it was sort of like a tennis elbow thing because of not moving. And so I thought, Oh, I got, I, I have a little bit of soreness there. Oh, oh, where's that stuff? So I went and I grabbed it and I sprayed my elbow and it, it didn't really do much. I just thought it was like water. It was almost like just putting water on my skin. And so I just rubbed it in gently. And then I went back to work on the computer and I noticed within about a minute and a half that the aching went away. So I was like, hmm, maybe it's a painkiller. So then the next day, the same thing happened. The pain was still there. It was back again. So I sprayed it and it went away within about two minutes. And so then I thought, that's really interesting. But hmm. So that goes on like for seven weeks. I didn't think much of it. I just thought it just gets rid of that problem. And after about seven weeks, the pain didn't come back. It was gone. So that's when I phoned this guy and I phoned him up. His name was Chris. And I said, Hey, Chris, I got, you know, I told him what happened. He goes, he started, he's got this crazy laugh that anyway, he starts laughing. Oh, yeah, you thought that was a painkiller, right? I said, I guess so. I don't really know. Right. All I know is that what happened. He says, no, no, it's not a painkiller. He said, what you've done is you've got your body to a level where it's, you, you've, got the magnesium depletion problem down to a certain level. You've got to keep spraying, even though your elbow is not hurting anymore. You got to keep spraying because what you've done is, is you've introduced magnesium. He said that's magnesium chloride hexahydrate in that solution. And when it went into your skin in a couple of minutes, it excited the calcium that it connected with. Wow. And so that made all the calcium take its pressure off of, because you get calcified joints when you're low in magnesium. So yeah, all the calcium re released off the nerves and then the pain went away, but he said then 24 hours later, because he didn't have enough, it settled back in. And seven weeks later, you finally got the first layer of calcium to move on, which gets it back in the bones or wherever it has to go. He said, keep wow. on going. You're going to have to go for at least another at same length of time. So I went, okay. So I kept going. So that was my first indication that there was something to this. And I thought, well, let's learn more about magnesium. And I started learning about magnesium supplementation. And I learned about the difference between what we've already talked about, the transdermal versus the orally consumed. And then I thought, you know, I'd like to tell some people about it. And then this guy goes, yeah, I can, I can send this stuff to you in Canada. And, you know, you just buy it in bulk and you put it in your own little bottles and you should sell it to people. So I took some down to California and some people down there tried it and they really liked it. So I added it to what we were already doing. We already had the Oceans Alive going at that point down in California, which is our marine phytoplankton product which has sea mineral, sea, mineral, sea mineral concentrate with the phytoplankton. And so that it got added to the line. So about, I would say six months after that, the same people who were buying the Oceans Alive were buying this stuff. And I was down in San Diego at their office visiting. And so when I got in there, one of the customer service people found out I was there and she comes running out and she goes, hey, Ian, I got to introduce you to this woman named Amber. She works in customer service and she wants to talk to you. She's on the phone right now, but when she gets off the phone, she wants to tell you something. So, okay, cool. So I, I waited around and then when she got off the phone, she came around and she says, you know what? First of all, I don't even know you, but I know who you are and I want to give you a hug and I'll tell you why. So she gave me a quick hug. And then she said, this is what happened with me. The we used to call it magnesium infusion at the time instead of ease. This was the first edition of it. And so, uh, she goes, I had a shoulder injury. Her left shoulder was injured in high school when she was like 17 years old. Now she's 26 at this time. And she, it was just sore, just 
always bothered her. And she heard about me talking about my elbow thing. It's not, I'll spray it on my shoulder. It took two and a half months for her shoulder to, for the pain to go away. That's how much calcium was in there. Wow. But what happened during that time, that's not what she was excited about. She, she had had two menstrual cycles. So she had her first one, which was normal going through that whole phase. By the time she hit her second uh, menstrual cycle, she had no cramps at all. And, and she told me that she has so, such debilitating uh, menstrual cycles, she couldn't get out of bed for four days. She was like hot water in bed. And she tried medications and everything for it since she was a teenager. And so she couldn't work for four days a month. And she said that that completely solved that issue and that she didn't know of anything else that could have possibly done it. Then I looked it up online and found out it ties directly into women's health at that level because of the cramping is a magnesium deficiency also creates oh, yeah. anxiety, right? So it's just this whole ball of wax that gets melted out when you get this stuff going. And it took two and a half, well, it took two months for her menstrual cycle to clear up, two and a half months for her shoulder. And she didn't even know that was going to happen. So that was like, okay, now we got to take this way more seriously because this is actually working for someone else that I know, right? I'm just not just telling them what happened with me. And, and that's how it got started. From then it just became, it grew and grew. The gentleman in New York was unable to keep supplying us at the level that we needed. We learned uh, there was a certain technology. It wasn't just the supply. It was actually technology on how to produce it. So by 20, I think it was around the middle of 2010, we started producing our own and doing a lot more experiments on how to improve it to get the maximum amount of, of raw material in the solution. And that took another couple of years. And then in 2015, we launched Ease. That was, it took all that time from 2007 to 2015 to finally come out with the perfected product. And, it's, uh, and then, then our launch then, you know, I think we, we had, I don't know how many clients. It was like 100, 112,000 subscribers on the launch. That's how much interest there wow. was in magnesium at that time. So how, how, did, how, did, uh, how did word spread about uh, the Ease product to the point where you got so many people interested. Oh, we had, we, we were, I don't know if you ever heard of, uh, what's his name? Jeff, uh, the, the, the product launch for him, Jeff Walker. I don't know if you ever heard of Jeff, but you can look him up. So Jeff Walker has a thing called product launch formula where you do educational videos. You do three different videos and you have, we had affiliate contests. So affiliates are, our, our type of affiliates are people who are, have health in, enthusiasts who follow them. And they built, maybe they have their own products or they have information products or they're bloggers. And they'll have like anywhere from 50 to 150 to 300,000 people who subscribe to their email lists, you know, because they're always following their information. They love their free info from these people. And so when you have a product launch, you, you have a leaderboard where you, you use these videos to get, so they drive traffic from their email list to have people find out about new products and they won't drive any traffic unless it's like the super coolest stuff because their reputation's on the line. They, if they tell people something to make money, it's disgusting, right? So they have to have something that's truly valuable to the end users. So they're super picky. And, and but we were, we had like, oh, I think it was over 50 at that time. We have like 750 affiliates, but there were more than 50 very, very serious affiliates who were, got really excited about the product. And of course you send it all out before it happens. Everybody gets to experience the product, this new rollout. And that creates more excitement. So that's how that happened. And, and we got the 112 subscribers. It was super successful launch to help a lot of people. And then from then on, we, we just kept getting more and more word out because that grows. Everybody tells everybody. And that's, that just brought that product in the market. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just fascinated by your description of the magnesium going into the calcified joints and just, just moving that out of there because... It's something that I've I've been dealing with in the last year or so, and I, I really think that your product has helped to uh, start to alleviate that. Even though I haven't haven't used it as much as I'd like. Um, uh, yeah, and there was another there's another artillery that came in as well. There was after the magnesium research was done about the importance of number one is magnesium as a fuel, is combination with calcium, of course. Then we learned about the uh, the D three and the M the K two M K seven. Are you familiar with that? Uh, just, just kind of like the, I, I'm familiar with the synchrony, the synchrony between the, the vitamin D 
and the uh, vitamin K. Right. Um, but that's that's about it. Yeah. So so what I, what I learned is no matter how much research you have out there, you, know, you got to get the right stuff. So we waited 15 years from the time we started this until we got access to the top level vitamins because we could have been in the vitamin business years ago. But, but what I didn't have confidence in is whether or not the suppliers we were talking with had the most valuable product. So we just stayed away from it. I just never got into it. I watched all these vitamin products come and go and trend and everything else until I found out how this is like your must have stuff again. So for your immune system, D3 is a must. And then the K2 is super sensitive. It's not easy. It's a, most K2 products have no K2 value in the bottle. So if you're in, they have a, it's called cis instead of trans. We found a company. I, well, we, I didn't find them. They found us. It was through just being introduced to them through a gentleman in Toronto who I was fortunate enough to get introduced to the network. And he, the name of the company is Kappa, K-A-P-P-A. And what they have, they have a completely proven K2 MK7 product that is validated for a 72-hour half-life. It also has a trans factor, so it guarantees to get into the cells of the body. And so when you have a 72-hour half-life, that means that every single day you have the full strength of the product in your body 24 hours. When they, they did the analysis on what was available in the market, they found that most K2 either had no effect or it had three-hour half-life. So a three-hour half-life, you'd have to be taking it every, every hour and a half <laughs> to be able to have the full strength, which nobody was going to do that. And it would be cost, cost prohibitive. What's interesting is the K2 MK7 they make is the same price as everyone else's because there's a market, you know, in the market, it just things cost a certain amount. Yeah. <laughs> so when we got that and we combined it with a, we combined it with a vegan D3. So most D3 comes from sheep's wool and yeah. that's from the oil in sheep's wool, right? It's called lanolin. And so the, uh, this K2 MK7 combined with a, with a, a D3 that comes from lichen, which is a vegetable product. And it's just as potent, only as vegetarian, vegan, which some yes. people are very concerned about. So it was just this super combo. We rolled it out just recently. So you'll, it's called Perfect K2 D3. And it really oh, is. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, I just, I, just, uh, I just wrote about uh, lichen recently as a, uh, as a uh, alternative to the uh, sheep's wool. Oh, cool. Um, <laughs> that's funny. Not many people know that, you know. Yeah, that's cool. So how did you find out about that? Uh, I I saw it in a product from Mary Ruth's uh, vitamins. Okay, right. Like a D3 spray. Um, mm -hmm. And <clears throat> I, I don't know too much about vitamin D supplementation, but uh, that's pretty exciting that you have that new product coming out because the only, the only other person I've known of uh, to, to, to kind of... Uh, do a lot of research on those those uh, D and K combinations is Dr. Mercola. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, he's been on the D three train forever, and then recently the K two. Yeah, Mercola has really been in depth. He was kind of like a pioneer in a lot of stuff. Yeah, I've been watching his work for years as well. The uh, yeah, the, so the, you know the D three for your immune system is key because it seals up all your the the space between the cells is your interstitial fluid. When you have proper D3 levels, that puts a barrier. They're out of uh, University of Southern California, they did this huge study. This is a video that I used to share with people all the time back in the day. This is, I wasn't even selling D3, right? I just knew that how important it was. And it was all about the cancer research they did. That They believed 100% that it prevented cancer if you have high, high D3 levels. So that was, you know, right from University of California. That's not from some you know, alternative source. That's right from the mainstream. Um, so back to the magnesium topic. I, I know you guys have a product that is uh, for bathing, mm -hmm. uh, just just having a magnesium bath. Can you talk about that? Can you talk about your product, uh, the Ease Magnesium Bath, compared to uh, compared to like an Epsom salt bath or like like uh, competing products? For sure. Yeah. So we our deep soak product, which is, it goes into the tub. There's a couple of things that you have to do to make it work properly, uh, which most people again, don't know, and they don't even put the instructions on product, but 
if, if you have water, anything above 102 degrees Fahrenheit in your tub, you're going to release from the heat. So 103 and up, you're going to release. So you got to keep it no higher than 102. Because when you're at 102 and down to a comfortable body temperature, your body is like 98.6. So in that nice comfort zone, that's where you absorb everything. And again, it goes back to the magnesium sulfate, which is the Epsom salts is really good, but it doesn't hold in the tissue. It definitely relaxes you. I, that's what we used before I ever heard of this is the, the Epsom salts. Cause from a kid, right? We've all, our moms had Epsom salt in the house Yeah, and, and it was great for a bunch of different reasons, but the magnesium chloride hexahydrate goes in more efficiently and then it holds and it doesn't have any impurities whatsoever. Whereas the magnesium sulfate in the Epsom salt is not a purified product. It's still really healthy and it's good and it's super cheap. That's why it's so cheap because they have not gone to the degree that they should to super purify it, but it's in the market. And that is, you know, that's the definitely better than nothing. But when you can get the deep soak, you notice a big difference. There's a significant, and plus you can add more, you can have whatever you like, you know, you can really chill out if you add some, if you want to spend a little bit of money on a cup of it for your bathtub. Uh, what are some of the benef the benefits that people have reported taking that bath? Because I actually took an Epsom salt bath like uh, about a week ago. Mm -hmm. And I did that after trying your, your magnesium spray, just because it made me realize like my body is a lot more tense than it should be. And I really need to start thinking about optimizing my magnesium levels. Um, do like, do people report like, uh, just they feel more calm, like walking around every day. They, they, uh, do they report that they, uh, they feel like more in control of their own bodies and less like, less like jittery or, or less leg cramps. Um, but like, uh, sometimes like my leg will twitch in the middle of the night. I know that, uh, magnesium is great for that. Um, what are some of the, some of the negative side effects that, that your, uh, ease magnesium bath can kind of, uh, counteract and, and what are some of the, some of the ways it can kind of supercharge a person's body. Yeah, well, in the bath, when you have that right temperature, you're, you're, first of all, just the warmth is going to allow the body to become more receptive instead of just spraying it on. You know, when you spray it on, it still goes in. It just takes a little bit longer. <clears throat> and it's not as, as soothing because you're, you're treating yourself with a luxurious situation with the magnesium sulfate or the magnesium chloride hexahydrate. Just that I, I kind of have, I kind of get the feeling that if I were to to take a bath with your product, that I would like just pass out right away. It would be that effective. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm not sure if you'd pass out, but you would definitely chill. So anxiety is related directly to magnesium deficiency, and I found that out way up uh, probably three hours after we, or three years rather after we rolled out the first magnesium infusion, because I've seen people who are on meds. And they said, well, do I go off my meds? I said, under no circumstances. You, you, your body will tell you how much meds you need. And so the more they used it and the more they did the deep soak, you know, back in that day, we just had the, uh, the magnesium infusion in a bigger bottle. But they would go within 30 days average, people would be able to, their body wasn't asking for the meds anymore. So wow. anxiety attacks, panic attacks, that kind of thing at that level is very extreme. But what most people make the mistake is, is they don't take themselves all the way back to zero. You know, if, whenever you have any kind of symptom, like, like anxiety, headaches, poor sleep, uh, sore muscles, stiff joints, heart palpitations, uh, whatever, that's at stage three. So stage one and two, you don't feel. Your body knows it because it's being affected dynamically for years and years and years. But when you get to the stage three, now you're just like, hey, the alarms are going off. So people take enough magnesium to go back to stage two where the symptoms go away. And they go, oh, I guess I fixed the problem. And then it comes back. It comes back within a short time because they go from stage two to stage three. Then they take it again. They go back to stage two. I've done this myself. I've made the same mistake. So <laughs> we just have to keep in mind, this is a, an ongoing fuel thing. The food yeah. does not have enough magnesium as it used to. And even magnesiums that are in food are not always totally bioavailable or structural. Yeah, it so seems you, to me like I have to eat like a perfect diet to to really um, keep my magnesium levels up without supplementation. And for me, that's problematic because 
it's like, I don't always want to eat a bunch of leafy greens. I don't always want to, you know, eat the same things over and over again. So it's, and the organic food selection is so limited at most grocery stores. It's like, mm -hmm. I have to choose between variety and high mineral content and organic and choose between variety and, uh, you know, getting the, the right nutrition. So that, that's why I believe that uh, magnesium supplementation can be so important. Um, yeah, you nailed it. It's hundred percent correct. Cause even like, if you look at leafy greens, like kale, uh, spinach, lamb's quarters, you know, any of those really dark leafy greens, you're, you're subjecting yourself to oxalates or oxalic yeah. acid. Yeah. And we all like those things are, wow. I don't, I actually stay away from them because of that. Cause I've had different, like, you know, when you move your head around and it feels like there's gravel inside your neck. Yeah. That's oxalic <laughs> acid. I don't get that anymore. You know, so you're right. Like supplementing is that this is a must have supplementation. Just like the K2D3, the magnesium is must have. It's in that category firmly. And it makes people feel so much better. It gives them brain power. It does so many, it gives you deeper sleep. When you wake up in the morning after a deep sleep, you feel so good. It's like new day ahead. This is good. You know, and then I have a shower, put on the 30 sprays of the ease. I'm good for the day. I know I've got what I need. So, yeah. Um, so uh, let's see. Any other topics uh, related to magnesium that, that you would like to share with the audience? Because it seems like there's just a lot of misinformation out there. And um, I guess I was kind of wondering, like, uh, the magnesium that, like, a doctor or a pharmacist would, would prescribe. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you know what type of form that typically is and what the pros and cons of those, those might be? Um, and what, yeah, what, would you what would you recommend to someone who's taking uh, – pharmacist or doctor prescribe magnesium if they have uh maybe like heart problems or or chronic uh illnesses that they're trying to solve with prescriptions um, right well yeah well, if, if a doctor really knows his stuff he's going to prescribe the magnesium the chelated magnesium because he knows that he doesn't want to tax his patient's kidneys uh if you go to the hospital for example and you're going to get put on a on a drip they're going to use magne magnesium chloride hexahydrate. That's the first thing oh, they're wow. going to give you. <laughs> and it's the met, that's, that's how we found out about the medical grade stuff. Because when you put it into an IV drip, that's the level of purity we're talking about. And so they're going to, they're going to prescribe those types of magnesiums primarily uh, on, a, say, a patient level if they're going to give them a prescription. And, and, so and that's, pretty good. That's, that's similar to what you guys use, the hexahydrate? And the, that's what exactly the what we use. That's the only thing we use. And it has to be 99.999% pure. And you got to pay a lot more for that, but it's totally worth it. Like by the time you buy a product for raw material, go through the labor of making the stuff, it takes 11 hours to make it. You put it into the bottles, put the labels on, put the caps on and the sprayers, package it, pay for all the marketing to educate people about it. You have to have the most valuable product in that bottle. It's just for us to give anything less would be doing injustice. I could go buy the cheapest magnesium card you could get in the world. You can get it from mining up, but like for pennies, that's <laughs> so messed up. You know, let's just, if, if the goal is to make a whole bunch of money on something versus delivering a whole bunch of value on something, you know, everyone likes to make money. So what? Make money legitimately. Do it by creating ridiculous value that nobody could even think of. That's the whole idea. And that's been the premise and that's been the, the bar that we set very high with us. We're not some goody two shoes and we're so better than anybody else. We're just different because I learned what I want for me is the best possible value I can get. I'm willing to pay for it, but I don't want to have to pay too much. You know, you don't want to have to, it's like some insane pricing. No, these are all affordable. They're super affordable actually. So they're, you know, this is best bang for the buck period. But yeah, for doctors, they are, they're trained in school. They all know about magnesium deficiency for sure. And so you'll have a pharmaceutical company bringing a product in. What I look at is excipients. I don't like excipients. So an excipient is maybe something they do in manufacturing to make the powder go into the capsule better or make the, the tab better. Those are like magnesium stearate, not good for you. All these different weird excipients. I, that's how I judge people's quality. Are they taking shortcuts to make their production cheaper and faster? Or are they doing it properly 
where there's only that stuff in that product. And that's, that's the, another way of discerning what level of quality. There's some fantastic high quality companies out there in the supplement world. It's just a matter of reading labels and asking questions. So what are, what are like the main ingredients in your ease product? And also if someone wanted to try this product, what would you recommend? Would you recommend the spray or the bath or um, oh, yeah. anything so like the, that? Yeah, the spray for sure. The bath is for people who are become very familiar with it and they go, okay, let's take it to the next level. Anymore. So our yeah. ingredients are ultra simple. We have two ingredients. We have distilled water that's super purified at a medical grade. We have magnesium chloride hexahydrate at the maximum saturation possible. And then it goes through an 11 hour process where we have to drive energy into the solution to make it hold. And so that when you put it in your skin, it goes in and, it's, and it holds the structure. You know, otherwise you could just, most people can make their own magnesium spray. They just take magnesium chloride, melt it in water, shake it up, put it in a spray bottle and spray it on. And it's gonna do basically nothing for them. And the way you, one of the ways you can tell is when you put it in your skin, most of the products in the market that I've ever tried, because I tried lots of comp competition, you put it on and it's like itchy and scratchy and uncomfortable and you got to wash it off. And plus you have to rub it in. With ours, you don't rub yeah, it Yeah, yeah. I feel like, just, a, like a coarseness of like uh, some of those like lower quality magnesium products, like just, mm -hmm. it just, it feels like coarse on my skin and it's like, I feel a little benefit, but then I'm just kind of, kind of waiting for it to, it almost feels like touching poison ivy or something. It's right, not really. prickly. You're right. Yeah. yeah. And so ours is just smooth as silk. Sometimes when people put our product on the first couple of times, if they have dry skin, it's going to help the dry skin because it's a hydrating product. But if you have dry skin, you got a little bit of bacteria there. So it might tingle because of the, if the bacteria is magnesium nukes bacteria. And it keeps the friendly bacteria, the healthy bacteria in place, but it doesn't get along with unfriendly bacteria at all. And if you have a cut or a little scrape, you'll know it. <laughs> and if people wonder about the concentration, they just spray some in their mouth. They'll find out how strong it is. It's very strong. And magnesium has a bitter tang to it. Some people actually spray it in the mouth for the purpose of helping with the enamel because it does do that. Oh, wow. But then <laughs> spit it out. You don't swallow it. And I've also used it quite often from a distance. Like I'll, I'll be like back this far and I'll do, you know how you get that really fine mist spray out of the bottle and I'll just keep my eyes open and look at it and it will go right into my eyes and it will tingle. Sometimes it even stings, but it cleans up the eyes. It's so good. Like talk about refreshing, you know, and I didn't even know you could do that. I had a friend of mine, one of our affiliates who was marketing a lot of the product and I was down at his place in California once. He goes, Hey, check this out. You can, I go, no, no, don't do that he was spraying in his eyes he goes what are you talking about this is perfect give it a try right so that's when i learned about it <laughs> and then from then on i'd be spraying my eyes we don't put that in the bottle but uh, you can definitely do that yeah. yeah i've heard about doing that with colloidal colloidal silver in the eyes to get rid of an infection and i was like a little bit too chicken to try that so i went to the eye doctor but um mm. I, i'd like to try the magnesium for that for that purpose too um yeah, give it a shot for sure. You, but you just have to, you have to train your eyes because your eyes are going to want to close. I've got myself trained now where I can keep my eyes wide open and spray liquid straight in. It's a, it's a bit of a training thing you got to do. Yeah. yeah, give it a shot. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you so much, Ian, for coming on. We, we don't have a whole lot of time. Um, uh, just for everybody watching out there, um, I'm going to put a link to Activation Products website, which is Ian's website. And he is based in Canada, and these are some of the most top tier, high end. Like th these are products that you're gonna feel as soon as you as soon as you use them. So I was really really impressed with all the products that I tried from you, Ian. And um, I just want to say thank you so much for coming on, and thank you so much for letting me try these products. Um, is there anything else you'd like to tell the audience out there before we uh, sign off? Well, yeah, no, I really appreciate your enthusiasm, Nick, and your interest in health and, and sharing a lot of this info with people. You know, you're, you inspire people because of the enthusiasm and you have enthusiastic people listening. So thank you for all that work you've done. I really am thankful to be able to connect with you guys and share some of the stuff. And, and then people, what the, the way I learned is I, I took the stuff, this stuff taught me what it is because everybody can talk about what they got all day long. Everybody says they got the best, 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> when it comes down to the end of the day, what is it, how does it really work? And that's what excites me. So that's where people, once they get into it, then they go, oh, wow. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, I, I appreciate you saying that, Ian. Sometimes I feel like I'm just kind of like uh, too much of a geek on this stuff. So I'm just like... <laughs> I feel like I'm like all robotic in the way I'm discussing these things, but uh, uh, I really appreciate you saying that. And uh, uh, thanks again, everybody for watching. I'll put a link, uh, a few different links to some of these products in the comment section. And this has been Nick Meyer and Ian Clark for activation products and magnesium. And we're, we're just, just discussing all the different forms of magnesium. So please share this with someone, you know, who might, uh, who might want to know about the different uh, benefits of different types of magnesium because it's it's so important and I can tell I'm deficient right now so I'm gonna go gonna go have lunch in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, thanks. Bye.